is an Amazon Fire HD7 2022. It's a $60 USD tablet. I got it for a hundred bucks because I live in Canada. So, you know, our money's worth nothing. It's got two gigabytes of RAM. It's got a Cortex A53 CPU and a Mali G52 MC1 GPU. It is weak as hell. So first things first, what you need to do is you need to buy one of these things, obviously. But you also need a pretty decent computer that you have that's running Steam. My computer is actually pretty old now. It's running a Ryzen 5 1400 and an RX 570 16 gigabyte card. And it's got like 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's a pretty old computer, but it runs Steam well enough for the games I play, so that's good. And you also need a decent internet speed. I have a gigabyte down, gigabyte up, and I have ethernet running throughout my house, so I got pretty decent internet here. And you also need to download Steam Link onto your Amazon Fire HD. To do that, you will have to get the Google Play Store on it. There's some guides for how to get Google Play Store onto your Amazon Fire HD that I'll try and link either in the description or in the card if I remember. The really good thing about this is uh, once you got it set up, you can play Steam games from anywhere as long as you got an internet connection. Uh, so as long as you bring this along and, and hopefully a controller or something, you can play it from anywhere. I tested it at uh, Tim Hortons, which is I guess a Dunkin' Donuts for Americans, like comparatively. Is that Tim Hortons compared to Dunkin' Donuts? I guess so. I don't know what Americans drink coffee from. I think it's Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks. Uh, but yeah. I have a mobile order. <clears throat> okay. Tim Hortons, and we're gonna play some games, some video games. Okay, so I've been playing around with it for a couple of days now. It works pretty good actually, surprisingly good for the hardware it's running on. It's a pretty fun project to do and I do recommend it as a project, but it's a little cumbersome to carry it around so I don't see it as an actual solution unless you buy one of those controllers that you can wrap around a tablet. Uh, other than that, I would recommend doing it just because it's interesting to play around with all this stuff. If you like the video, please like, comment. And if you can subscribe, it would be great. Thanks.